Hello, today we will be doing a anchor simulation for ship 1942. You know, we got some coronavirus things going on, so that's why my crew members have masks and I don't because I'm speaking to y'all. So I have my anchor assistant. He will be relaying my messages and be relaying messages back to me from our helmsman or to our helmsman. And we have our helmsman, which is on the tiller, um, and our other crew member right here. So we'll start off with uh, our figure eight. We have a figure eight to help make it easy to get the line into the water so none of it tangles up or anything like that. Right here, we have a chain head, which is really like what you need to have um, attached to your anchor because when you lower it into the water, this adds extra weight on the ground to keep it from going up and down like that. Um, which will make the anchor loose in the water if you just had rope attached to it. So this gives it some weight to help it stay down. We will always take safe, uh, believe that safety is first. So we will always have our life jackets whenever we enter the ship. So next we have um, our flake, which is a figure eight. Um, this right, oh, and we also have our rope, which is tied with a bow. And usually we'll have an eye splice on this, but you know, this is just a simulation. So right here, we have our figure eight, which helps the line from getting caught up and tangled against it itself while we drop the anchor into the water. We also have right here, our chain lead, which helps the anchor stay anchored in the mud. So like if you get high gusts of wind, um, what would happen is, you know, the rope would bring the anchor up and it would start coming out of the mud because of the rope is so light but having the chain on will help keep the anchor in the mud because of the extra weight that it adds which you will see later in this video okay so here we have our freeboard which is the distance in between the water line and the gunnel which is this right here and what you want to do with that is you want to incorporate that into the water depth when you're doing scope and scope is the ratio that you will have for your anchor in different situations. So let's say you have 10 feet of water and a three, three feet uh, freeboard. You will have 13 feet. So when you go to lunch, it's five to one. So it's 13 times five instead of 10 to five, which a lot of people tend to miss sometimes. For overnight or if you're leaving the boat, it's seven to one. And if you have a storm, it's 11 to one. So for a storm, you could also do the um, a Y anchor, which is when you have an anchor right here and an anchor over here, just in case one comes loose during a storm. Drop the other anchor. Drop the anchor. Drop the anchor. All right, Captain. Anchor at the water line. Anchor at the water line. Anchor at the bottom. Anchor at the bottom. Let out one third of the anchor road. All right, Captain. Engines are reverse. You just wanted to reiterate that um, we are aiming up in the wind. And now when I let out a third of the line, I'll be doing a cleat hitch. Actually, uh, do something. Right now, we don't have a cleat, but I'll put that right there. And then the helmsman will put the boat into reverse. And then he'll let me know when to drop more anchor line. Let out the full stroke. All right, Captain. All right, so the wind's hitting the freeboard. And so until we're into the wind, I'm pointing at the anchor where it's going um, so it doesn't wrap around the keel. Now I'll be figuratively tying a cleat hitch. raising the anchor. I will be motoring towards the anchor so that they don't have to try as hard to pull it up so they don't have to like pull the boat while we're going towards it. Uh, and my assistant here will be pointing towards the road to make sure it does not wrap around the keel while I'm motoring towards it and while he's pulling it up. Raise the anchor. Raise the anchor. Aye, Captain. 
So here I have gloves on just in case any foreign objects come on the line or any jellyfish get stuck on it so I don't get stung or poked or anything of that sort. Anchor off the bottom. Anchor off the bottom. Anchor at the water line. Anchor at the water line. So next what would happen is we have a bucket right here and usually a string would be attached to it. Uh, you know, get some water out of wherever we are and then try to get the mud off of the anchor because when the mud gets dry or gets on here, it pretty much turns into concrete and it's really hard to get off and really tedious. So you want to get it off while it's wet. Shake that a couple times, dip it in and out of the water and bring it back. Flaking the line as I'm bringing the anchor up just in case the anchor gets grounded and it has to be let out again so there's no tangling in the line. This is requirement number eight for ordinary covering ground tackle in the Sea Scout ship handbook. Um, so this is sponsored by ship 1942 out of Arlington, Virginia. Our charter or organization is St. George's Episcopal Church.